Don't forget to like and subscribe to Jolie Knott's Crochet. Share with your friends. Hit that little notification bell so you can get notified when new patterns release. All our videos are available in left and right-handed tutorials. Hi everyone, welcome back to Jolie Knott's Crochet. I'm Crystal and today we're gonna to be learning how to make the Stella Hobo Bag. This bag we are using 100% four weight cotton for and a four millimeter hook. It's perfect for any scraps that you have that you would like to put together. You can make something colorful. Lots of pictures coming up for different ideas. You can make it in a solid color if you wish. Have fun with it and do what you like. There will be a written pattern linked in the description box below if you do prefer the written pattern. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook under Jolie Knott's Crochet. And you can join the Jolie Knott's Crochet community group on Facebook and show us what you've created. Now this bag, the best thing what I like about this bag is it's a hobo bag. So as you fill it up, open it up, put all your things in there and it opens up sits down nice and wide. You could use this as a project bag. You could use this as a purse. You could use it as an overnight bag. Um, whatever you wish that you would like to do. Now we are going to be making this as a star and then attaching the straps to either side. We'll have two straps attached and those will be adjustable for however full you need to make your bag. So the way we're gonna begin this bag is gonna be worked as a six point star. Our first five rows are gonna be a setup rows, and then we're gonna have four repeat rows. I'm gonna show you the first repeat, okay? After you get past your initial setup and your first repeat, your bag will not lay flat. It's not supposed to lay flat. It's, um, it will start cupping like a bowl and that's really just to help the design. All right, so like I said, I am using cotton for this project. I'm going to be using scrap cotton for the one that I'm gonna show you, and I'm using a four millimeter hook with a four weight cotton. If you are using uh, an acrylic yarn, you might wanna go down to say a three and a half, or if you're using a three weight cotton, you can go down to a three millimeter hook or even if you're using a three weight acrylic, going down to a three millimeter hook to help to keep it from stretching too much. All right, so today I'm gonna to be using my scrap cotton. I am just using mostly Lily's sugar and cream, but you can choose whatever you would like. All right, everybody, go ahead and get the materials that you would like to use for your Stella Hobo bag, and I will meet you right back and we can get started. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is to get our yarn and our hook, and we're gonna make a magic ring. Now, I'm going to go ahead and make my magic ring out of a backwards slip knot. It's the easiest way to do it for me. And then that way, once we're finished working in our ring, you can pull your tail and it'll close it up. Don't forget to weave in your end, so that way it doesn't come undone at the bottom. So I'm gonna pull up a loop to get started. And what I'm going to do now is chain two. This is not counting as a stitch. Now we're gonna put 12 double crochets into our ring. Okay, so I've got my 12 double crochets. Now I'm going to pull my tail allow my ring to close up. And now I'm going to slip stitch to the first double crochet, not our chain two, remember that's not a stitch. So into the first double crochet to join. Getting started on round two, we're gonna chain two. Every row is going to start with the chain two and that's not going to count as a stitch. Now into our first stitch, we're gonna do two double crochets. Chain two and two double crochets. 
This is going to be your repeat. Now we're going to skip one stitch and into the next stitch, two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets again. So you're going to do that all the way around. This is the beginning of creating our arms. So like I said, it was going to be similar working up as a six point star. This is the beginning of our arm creation. So skipping one, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Do that all the way around. You should have six stars at the end of the round. And then I will show you how to get started on the next round. Okay, I've just completed my last arm and now I'm just going to slip stitch to the first double crochet to join. Getting started on round three, we're going to slip stitch over one stitch. Chain two, and then we're going to double crochet into that stitch. Now working into your chain two space, we're going to be putting three double crochets. Chain two and three more double crochets. So what we do going up one of the arms is going to be the same thing that we're doing going down one of the arms. So we started with a double crochet in the last stitch before a chain space, and now we're going to put a double crochet into the first stitch. Now coming out of the corner, it's a little bit um, hidden, so make sure that you're catching it and you're not going to the next stitch. So you should have four double crochets on one side and now four double crochets on the other side. Now skipping two stitches, here's going to be your repeat. We're skipping two stitches, which will be the last double crochet of one arm and the first double crochet of the other arm. And we're going to go straight into the third stitch, which is right before your chain two space, and we're going to double crochet. And now we're going to work our corner or the top of your arm. Three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. And this is what we're going to repeat for each arm. And then double crochet into the first stitch after your corner. So go ahead and repeat that for each arm. Again, you should still have six arms. Each arm should now have eight stitches, four up and four down. Okay, I've just completed my last arm. All I'm going to do now is slip stitch to the first double crochet to join. And that is completing our third round. And it should look like this. Now, what we're gonna do for round four is again, slip stitch over one stitch. Chain two. And now what we're going to do is work double crochets going up the arm. Since we slip stitched over, we have three going up and then we'll work our corner. So double crochet in each of the next three stitches. And now we're going to work our corner. So this corner is going to be again, three double crochets chain two, and then three more double crochets. They will all fit in your chain two space, so just squish it over a little. And since we had three going up the arm, now we're gonna do three going down the arm, so we're leaving that last double crochet unworked. This is what you're going to do for every single arm. Skip the two stitches at the bottom, 
the first stitch, the last stitch of one side, the first stitch of the other, three double crochets going up into your corner space, three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, and then three double crochets going down. I'll show okay, you. so I have just completed round four and I am just going to slip stitch to join. This is the end of my teal scrap. Ended pretty perfectly for that. And I'm gonna switch colors. So I'll show you how to uh, get started with a new color. I'm gonna use purple. And I'm gonna start with the standing double crochet. So I'm not gonna need that chain two, but round five is a repeat of round four. So slip stitching over one, working a double crochet all the way up, and then working in your corner, which is three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, working your double crochets down the side, leaving the last double crochet open and the first double crochet open of the next set. So let me get, let me show you. Starting with the standing double crochet into my second stitch. Typically, I would slip stitch over if I'm working the same color but I'm starting a new color, so I'm just gonna start into the second double crochet of the arm. And now I'm repeating round four. So I am just double crocheting up to each stitch until I get to my corner. So that's five double crochets going up now I'm going to work my three double crochet corner, chain two, three double crochets, and then I'm going to work my five double crochets going down, and that's what we're going to have for each of this these this. That's what we will have for each arm. Always leaving the last double crochet and the first double crochet open from one arm to the next. So skipping two stitches and then working your arm going up. All of your arms should have five double crochets going up, three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet in your corner work that all the way around and I will meet you back. Okay, so I am finishing out my round five, which was a repeat of round four. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're actually going to start our repeat rounds now. So these are all your setup rounds and your next three rounds, well, your next two rounds will be what you're repeating. So we're gonna have a puff round and then we'll have three double crochet rounds, which will be repeats of each other. So getting started on round six, if you are using the same color, you're gonna slip stitch over one stitch. If you are starting with a new color, you will start with, with a standing double crochet into your second stitch. I am going to switch up my colors again. So I'm going to tie this off and I'm gonna start with a new color and a standing double crochet at my second stitch. Okay, so getting started, I am starting again with a standing double crochet into my second stitch of the arm. So we have one double crochet there. Now remember, this is a repeat round. So pay attention here, because this is one of the rounds that you will repeat. We are going to double crochet again into the next stitch. And now we're gonna do a sideways puff. And what that means is we are going to puff stitch over our post. So we're gonna yarn over, go around the post, pull up a loop, yarn over, go around the post, pull up a loop. We're doing that four times. So I've got two, here's three, and here's four. 
Now you're going to yarn over and pull through all of the loops. Skip one stitch and into the next stitch, double crochet. Now we're going to do another sideways puff. One, two, three, four. Skip one stitch, double crochet into the next. Yarn over, around the post, two, three, four, pull through all, and now we're going to skip the last stitch on this arm, and we are going to double crochet into the chain two space, work another sideways puff, one, two, three, four, pull through all of our loops, chain two, and now we're going to do it again into the chain two space. Double crochet and then sideways puff. One, two, three, four, pull through all. So you should have three going up, and then two in your chain two space. And then one single lonely double crochet there at the beginning. So now going down the arm, we're gonna skip the first double crochet, and we're gonna work into the second double crochet. And puff. Skip one stitch, double crochet into the next, and puff. Skip one stitch, double crochet into the next, and puff. Now with two stitches left at your arm, we're not going to skip one stitch. We're gonna double crochet into the next stitch. So here's what your arm should look like. Double crochet, puff, going up, two in the chain two space, three coming down, and then without skipping a stitch at the end, double crochet into that. So let me show you this arm one more time. I'm gonna go a little bit faster and then you're gonna repeat it for the remaining arms. Skip two stitches, double crochet into the next. Now double crochet again. So each arm is starting with two double crochets and we're puffing over the last double crochet post made. Skip one, double crochet, puff. Skip one, double crochet, Skip one, working into your corner space, double crochet, puff. Chain two, double crochet again into the corner, puff over that one. Skipping the first stitch, working into the next, double crochet, and puff.
skip one, double crochet, and puff. Skip one, double crochet. We're repeating our puff stitches until we have two stitches left of the arm. And then without skipping a stitch, we're going to double crochet right into the next stitch, leaving the last stitch open. Here's what it should look like. Go ahead and finish that out for the remaining four arms of your star. And I'll meet you back to show you the next round. Okay, so I have just finished round six. I'm going to slip stitch to my first stitch to join. If you are working the same color, you will slip stitch over one stitch to get started on the next round. I'm going to change my color again. I'm going to start with a standing double crochet into the second stitch. This is also your repeat round. So this is the first of your repeat round. And then what I'm going to show you now is going to be the second of your repeat round. So starting into not the stitch that we slip stitched into to join, but into the next stitch. And the top of your puff stitches, they look exactly the same as the top of a regular row. So we're going to double crochet into every stitch going up and then into our chain two space. We're going to do two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. That's our repeat. So round seven is going to be repeated three times. So we've got our first double crochet there, and now we're going to double crochet going up. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight double crochets going up, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet in your corner. Don't forget your hidden stitch right after your corner. That's where you'll start your double crochets going down. And because we had eight going up, on the other side before the corner, you should have eight going down. Remember, in every round, we do not work into the last stitch of the arm or the first stitch of the arm. So from here, we're skipping those two stitches, going directly into the next stitch and starting our double crochets going up the arm. And every arm should be exactly the same on here. So you should have eight going up and then working your corner and then eight going down. So I am going to continue all the way around. You will repeat round seven two more times. So round six is your puff, round seven is your double crochet, so you'll have three double crochets, rows, and then another puff. So let me show you on the completed one. This is where we're at. Two more and then another puff round. So you are going to repeat puff, double crochet, double crochet, double crochet, puff, three double crochets, puff, three double crochets, puff, and then one more double crochet row. And I will meet you back to show you how to do the border that we have here. So complete that out. You should have one, two, three, 
four total rows of puffs. You can make it deeper if you like. This one here is 11 inches from the shortest part down to the bottom and 13 inches at the tall point. Each repeat's gonna give you approximately two and a half to three inches deeper in your bag. So you can repeat that again. You should have 19 rows total before we do the, the uh, border here. Or if you're doing an extra repeat, you'll have 23 rows total. So go ahead and finish that out. I'm gonna finish mine out, and then I'm gonna show you how to make the straps, attach the straps, um, do the border, get the Roman cord in for your button if you choose to do a button so your bag can stay closed, or you can put a tassel, um, whatever you prefer. Okay, so I have completed all of my rows, all of my repeats. Remember, you can do more repeats if you would like your bag to be deeper. Now, our final round is going to be a reverse single crochet around the edges. So if you are starting or you're working at the same color that you ended with, you're still gonna slip stitch over one. So I will start there and I'm just going to join my yarn. So the reverse single crochet, so we're gonna skip those two stitches and we're gonna go into the third stitch, pull up a loop, finish your single crochet. Now we're gonna go into the next stitch. Remember we're working backwards. Pull up a loop and single crochet. Next stitch, pull up a loop, single crochet. So essentially we're working like this, not like this. So into the next stitch, pull up a loop, finish your single crochet. It's really simple once you get the hang of it and where your hands are going. And that's all we're gonna keep doing. Going into the stitch behind it, pull up a loop, single crochet. Stitch behind, pull up a loop, single crochet. And so you're gonna keep working that all the way up until you get to your chain two space. And when you get to your chain two space, we're only going to put one and then start working down the side. So you should have this border that looks like it's twirling because it's backwards, so it has a little slant. So you're gonna work it all the way around. Remember, one reverse single crochet into the corner. When you get down to the bottom, you will have two, you will be skipping these two stitches still at the bottom of your arm and going straight over to continue working your reverse single crochet. All right, go ahead and finish that out. I will meet you back at the beginning to show you what we're gonna do. We're actually going to make um, the Romanian cord, or you can chain it, it doesn't matter, whichever is your preference, to attach your button. That's optional, you don't have to do that either. All right, so I'm gonna finish that out and then I'll show you this and then we'll get started on the straps. Okay, so here I am, I've gotten to my last stitch. And remember we started here, but we didn't stitch into here. So that's gonna be where our last stitch will be. 
From here, we're gonna do a Romanian chord, okay? Now, you can do a chain if you like, that's totally fine. You don't have to do anything. You can, um, you know, fasten off and cut it and don't put a button or anything. That's what I'm gonna do with mine, but I wanna show you how to do the chord. So, we're gonna chain two and single crochet into the second chain. Now we're gonna turn. And when you turn, you wanna turn to make sure that your, um, your working yarn is behind you, not in front of you. We do not chain one. This is the top of the single crochet that you just made and we're just gonna go straight into there and do a single crochet. Now turn again. Making sure that your working yarn is always coming from the back. Work a single crochet into the top of the single crochet. So essentially we're just working single crochets in a row without the chain ones. So you're gonna do this about 15 rows, your Romanian cord, and we're gonna do somewhat of a version of this for the straps. So this is what your cord will look like. It's kind of hard to see, but that's what I did with my first one. Once you are finished with your 15, I don't have 15 here, but then you will just come to the other side and slip stitch right into that first stitch on the other side, and then you've got your cord, typically longer than mine, of course, all right? So I am not doing a closure on this one. So I am going to work my last reverse single crochet, turn my work, and then slip stitch into the first stitch. And that's it, okay? Now I'm gonna show you how to work the straps which is very similar to a Romanian cord, but we are going to be doing it three single crochets wide. Okay, so to work the straps for your bag, we are going to be making like a cord or a stash. You could use it for straps like we are today, or you can use it for like a sash for a cardigan or a robe. Uh, or anything like that. So what you're gonna wanna do first is leave yourself about a 10 inch tail because we will be needing some yarn to attach it to our bag. Then you'll get a slip knot and we're gonna chain four. Now what we're gonna do is single crochet into the second chain from the hook and each chain after so this is only going to be three stitches wide. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is turn our work so that the working yarn is coming from the back, not from the front. So if you turn it the wrong way, your working yarn is in the front and it's kind of like in your way. So turn it so it's coming from the back. Now do not chain one. You're gonna go straight into your first single crochet and make a single crochet. Three single crochets across. Turn your work, three single crochets across. And that's it. Super simple. You're just gonna keep going. 
we're making two straps. I made mine 35 inches long. And what you're going to want to do so that you can get a true measurement is to make sure that you periodically stop and pull. So you can stretch it to where it's going to need to stretch. So when you have things in your bag, then you have like a true idea of what the length is. So periodically just stop and stretch it out and continue. My straps, like I said, are 35 inches long and I made, um, it was 142 rows. Now you can make your straps as long as you like or as short as you like. And now we'll meet you back here to show you how to attach them. When you are finished with your cord, you're going to want to make sure that you again leave approximately a 10 inch tail so you can attach to the other side of your work as well. So leaving a 10 inch tail on both sides and this is what your strap should look like. All right, I'm going to go ahead and finish up my straps and then I will meet you back to join or to attach them. Okay, so I have completed my straps and here's how we're going to attach them. First thing you're going to do is lay your bag out so that way you have two points at the top and the side point is just like this. So we're going to attach um, on either side, on those two sides. So what's going to happen from here though is we are going to attach the bag. We're going to go through the front to the back at each top end. Through the front and to the back. Same thing for the other side. Through the front and to the back. making sure that your strap is not twisted. We're gonna connect it into this chain two space on both sides. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to use my crochet hook and I'm actually going to single crochet it into the chain two space. So I'm going through the stitch, through the chain two space, just pulling up a loop. And now I'm going to do my three single crochets. One, two, Simple as that. Try and get that, just give it a good tug and pull it off to the side because on the other side is where we're going to put the next one. So let me show you again. So now this first one is attached. Flip it around. Put your strap through the chain two space. Through the space on the other side. And we're just attaching. So 
because this one is pointing out on this way, we're going to attach the other one so it kind of points the opposite way. So going through the stitch, through the chain 2 space, pull up a loop. That's just attaching. And now we're going to go through that first same one, through the chain space, single crochet through each stitch. Fasten off. And there's our second strap. So I'm just going to follow this along. Make sure that it does not get twisted up. And now we're going to work it on the other side. This is the last step of your bag other than weaving in all of your ends and you are done. Hopefully you have enjoyed this tutorial of the Stella Hobo bag. Don't forget to join us on Jolie Knotts Crochet Community on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook under Jolie Knotts Crochet. We'll see you next time. Now to get this prepared right to where you want it to go, all you're going to do is pull up and it will sit super nicely. Just like that. All right, pull up on your other side. And there you have it.